Sixth Street Inn is joining us at Chef Zone for Hawaii's Kitchen. We've got the general manager, Troy. We've got Chef Matt cooking up Opa. I want to know your choice of Opa. Why Opa? Uh, opa is a nice uh, texture of fish that is has a good amount of fat, and it also is uh, available year-round. I Hawaii. actually really like it. So what are we what are we doing? We're gonna season. Yep. We're gonna put some salt and pepper. In our fish. Popular dish. Absolutely. Yeah. One of my favorites for sure. What do you got in there now? <clears throat> Next up, uh, the panko. This is our herb crust, which is panko, thyme, oregano, salt and pepper, garlic, and we got some oil just to uh, bind it all together. I just want to show the camera real quick. It looks like quinoa. The way you got it going on there, it looks like quinoa. But, uh, that's a great mix. Uh, and then, so how do you crust it up? So we're just gonna apply this to the top of the fish. Okay. Uh, oh, just pat that it easy. on there. And when you say apply, you mean pack it on. Pack it on. Yeah. This is where a lot of that texture and flavor is. Wow. Okay. There's a lot. You guys cater. Absolutely. Uh, something, you know, they've always, uh, we've always done catering at Side Street and popular, you know, takeout dishes are very popular. Uh, we have a, a long-standing, uh, uh, what we call party pan menu, okay. uh, which is, it's uh, all the favorites, you know, the pork chops, the kalbi, the fried rice. You order it, give us, uh, you know, give us 24 hours notice, 48 hours notice in advance. And, uh, you know, it's great to take to, uh, you know, the bar barbecues, duals, yeah. events, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, but we are, we have a couple new things too as well. We're trying to ramp up. We're doing some corporate uh, catering event, or sorry, corporate lunch uh, catering where you just can order uh, ventos. Okay. And we'll, we'll, um, during the holidays, we do have a delivery service and kind of, we try and waive the fee depending wow. on the zip code location. Okay. Um, so, but that's something that we work with our guests with. Um, so that's a lot of fun. We have this great thing called a Biggie Bento. So it's it's actually, so it's a, basically it's a Biggie Bento. A, uh, a really a big A real big Bento. And so it's got fried rice, it's got the spicy garlic chicken, which is one of the house favorites, yes. and then the roast pork poke, which we're gonna show later. Okay. So, it, and it it's, feeds uh, easily about 15 people. It's, it's really great, a lot of fun. You get chopsticks with it, like big chopsticks. Mix it all up, a lot yeah. of food. Okay, uh, chef, we're crusting up the fish. How long does that take in the in the pan? Uh, it just takes a few minutes on each side. Okay. Gonna... So it starts off in the pan, but that's not where it finishes off. Yes, it's gonna finish off in the oven. You don't want to get it too brown, or else the oven will uh, get it too dark. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna saute some vegetables. Yes. Maybe we can throw those in already at the, at the same time, just for the sake of timing here. And then I know we're going to put it in the oven. Um, but you guys, again, let's let everybody know your locations, hours of operation. Yep. So we're um, so the uh, the original Honorable Pocket Street. Okay. okay. Uh, under renovations, but we'll be opening soon. Uh, we have the Kapahulu Kapu location, six one four Kapahulu Avenue. Um, that is open seven days a week. Uh, we open, uh, the bar opens at three o'clock and then we start the kitchen at four o'clock every day. And then on the weekends, of course, we started the lunch service. So we open up at 11 each day. And then, uh, you know, during football season, we're, we're doing that uh, bright and early. We have 20 large big screen TVs that we're doing all the NFL games. Super Bowl time. And then getting ready for the Super Bowl. Nice. Lots of fun. What did you add? You added some seasoning, some butter? So it's just uh, shiitake mushrooms and asparagus. Okay. And uh, season it up with some salt and pepper and just a little bit of butter. Now, the magic of television, we have a finished opa that's coming out of the oven right now. And I know Chef Matt's going to grab it. So bring this over here. I would love to know what that looks like because you, there's a ton of stuff that went on that fish. So we're going to uh, throw together. What are we throwing together? So next we're going to do a roast pork poke. And chef, the roast pork poke, you, got, you, you were talking, it's like the regular old roast pork that you would get. It is a crispy Chinese roast pork. Look at, look at. That looks really, really good. Okay, we're going to go to break. I want to get back here as soon as we can uh, because when we come back, 
It'll be time to check that out. And we're gonna throw together the roast pork bouquet. You got it. All right, when we come back at Chef's home, this is Side Street in. Chef Matt, Troy, we'll be back. Of course I was rushing, because I want to get back there and eat. <laughs> Which you did. Ooh, look at with the drizzle. The drizzle. Lick your screens, everyone. Lick no, screens. don't do that. Actually, don't look do at that. The, <laughs> look at the drizzle. Doesn't that look good? Opa! Pan roasted opa. Okay. okay. Opa. That looks what? Opa! <laughs> I'm glad that you got the egg off your face, by the way. Oh my god, during the package, I had egg on my face. I didn't even know. <laughs> I, I kept going, how come I smell egg? <laughs> um, okay, uh, let, let's.